Good evening, Council President, Honorable City Council. I'm and Julian, next time you can't make it, please call me. I would like to get your number. Okay. Number. I'll give you my number before reference. you leave today. Thank okay. you. Okay. I did not have it. Otherwise, okay. I would have. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to be here for uh, my quarterly visit with you. I provided you with a detailed written report, and I'm happy to take any questions that you have. Julian, what's the status of the litigation uh, with regard to uh, the the uh, was it the berm that was built and the engineering that had failed or the architecture that had failed and I know that you were looking at going against the bond or suing them what's the status of that that is ongoing and I'd be happy to have you speak with our legal counsel as to the status of that we are currently we did recently submit our application for grant reimbursement to FEMA, which included all of the costs, which they may or may not cover. It's possible they may cover it. So again, the uh, what we're litigating about is not defined at this time. Did we make a claim under, the, under their bond? We are making a claim against the engineering company. Okay. Did they have a bond? They have insurance. All right. And how long ago did that failure take place? I believe it was 2015, and we notified them shortly after that. And is this in litigation? No. <clears throat> Can you get us an update on that? Certainly. Um, also, the, the pumping station um, that we hadn't purchased the land for, uh, was that Governor Fran Francis Phase 3, has that land been acquired? Has it been purchased? I understand we're very close to getting having the administrative subdivision recorded, and then the next steps because there's no, um, we need to go to the zoning board, but there's no lot, there's no existing lot at this time. We're still waiting on the administrative subdivision. So we had all the engineering and plans done for a pumping station on a lot that we don't own, as I recall. Yes. And we still don't own it. Correct. Are we going to own it, or what's the plan? Yes, to... we, we are going to own it. There's a process that we had to go through. Um, the contractor's holding his price. Uh, we're hoping that this can be turned around fairly shortly. I, I don't understand what the delay was. And what about um, rates? Uh, for um, new construction. Are you going out to a rate study? Yes, we are. Um, the Finance Committee has been regularly meeting with our rate consultant and tweaking those studies. Right now we're focused on the Governor Francis Farms numbers. And um, do you know how much it's going to be in Governor Francis Farms? About $20,000 per lot, per equivalent dwelling unit. Uh, and do you know how much frontage that is, or is it just per house, no matter what the frontage is? It's by unit, so it's... Per house. Correct, correct. But I'd be happy to email you that rate study, because it does discuss what the equivalent front footage amount would be and things like that, so if, you, if you're interested. And, and when is that going to be approved? When is that going to be voted on? <laughs> That one, again, we have some time to make sure we get this right. And that one's much further along. The last time our rate consultant met with the finance committee, they sent him back uh, because he was looking at 30-year loans, which we did not get for Governor Francis Farm. So just some minor tweaks. And as, they, as those rate studies get vetted by the finance committee, they'll be brought to the full board to uh, approve vote on and what's the interest rate that we're going to be offering to the constituents on those loans 
That is also something the rate consultant's going to be providing to us. Um, but right now it looks to be about three to three and a half percent. When you say that they're going to be offered three and to three and a half percent, um, do we have a financial institution that's saying that they'll uh, honor three and a half percent, three to three and a half percent, or are we floating the loans and getting paid back? The, what we're going to charge for an interest rate on the assessments is based on what the sewer authority was charged on average for the loans we took out for the project, um, plus not to exceed one and a quarter percent. So the rate consultant is looking at what that that number should be, and he already has a number for our average interest that we paid for the loans for Governor. For, we've already taken out all the loans for the project. And what about um, usage rates? Is the rate consultant looking at that too? Yes, we, we've been doing five-year rate study projections for planning purposes, and he looks at that again every year. This past year, there was a, an increase in the renewal and replacement charge. Next year, nothing um, is scheduled, and then an increase in the renewal and replacement charge two years from then. So when somebody flushes their toilet and it goes down the system, uh, there's a cost associated with that for so many gallons, I would assume, correct? Yes. Okay. And what is the cost um, per gallon or whatever the, the unit is uh, for uh, usage right, right now? And what is it going to be? Have, has the rate study determined what it's going to be in the future? Yes, last year we implemented the next five-year rate study, and I'm happy to provide you with those numbers. I didn't bring the detailed amounts with me, but I can absolutely give you the five-year projection for sewer usage rates. And do you know what uh, average household in Warwick pays now for sewer usage per year? I would say about $450 to $500, depending on water usage. And what about... Governor Francis, if they're paying a $20,000 assessment, how much would they pay per year? It, I actually it's, it's, have uh, information from <clears throat> the public meeting. Governor Francis, give me one second. I'd rather answer it now if I can. So I had done uh, some estimates for Governor Francis Farms Phase 3. Um, this was for a $19,000 assessment at 3.65% interest over 20 years. So the monthly assessment charges would be about $113. The average monthly usage bill, about $38. So total estimated monthly expenses for folks in Governor Francis Farms, if they connect, is about $150. $150. Uh, so 300 every two months, about $1,200 a year. Yep, I'd be happy yeah. to share one of these. This and, is and what about for Walt Neck, I know, what's going to be the assessment for that area? We haven't looked in detail at that yet. Um, so as opposed to in the past, when we did these rate studies, we are basically pre-assessing and compiling every piece of information that we can on each piece of property that is in the future project area. So frontage, square footage of lots, how many um, uh, units, and that's what the rate consultant's using. And whether it's a vacant lot, uh, whether there's a new septic system or 20 year or, or younger septic system, whether they might uh, be eligible for a circuit breaker or financial type deferment that's all being factored into our projections and our, our uh, rate studies for the construction project so bayside ward five project is the next on the list and the when's, Governor Francis when's that scheduled to begin being built that i believe i su supplied you with a uh, progress report from the engineer. Oh, they didn't put the uh, schedule on here like they do with Governor Francis Farms. Right now we're wrapping up the archaeology 
we're going to have another design meeting in about a month put the final details together for the plans and specifications to bid next year maybe hopefully the end of uh, next year if not uh, the following year 2019 before a shovel goes in the ground correct so probably 2019 Correct. And then there's a construction period. I mean, it takes a while to do the construction. And then, so these assessments uh, will be in like 2020. The assessments will. And when do you anticipate that this projects in Bayside will be completed by? It, it takes, it, generally we estimate 18 months for construction. How long? 18 months for 18. settling and final paving. And is there more than one phase there? No, we've combined all of them together as one project. Okay, thank you.